I've got a very old antique sideboard at home. It's detailed, varnished, very ornate. I was really proud of it. Until I read poet Alexander Smith, who said, trees are the best antiques. And you know what? Maybe so. A curve, a tree, a curve does sound better. Alexander Smith also wrote, a man does not plant a tree for himself. He plants it for posterity. He must have known about this career. In a corner of a quiet Scottish churchyard at the eastern entrance to Glen Lyon, in the village of Fortingall, stands this ewer, a yew tree, ewer. Behold, the Fortingall yew. It's claimed the tree is between two and three thousand years old, but the outer rings of this ewer have rotted away, so it's very difficult to work out. But it's definitely Erster, old Erster. The stakes in the ground show the original growth of the tree, probably about 50 feet around. Hashin Moor, big Moor. I met Fran Gillespie, who is one of the tree wardens of the Fortingal U. Does this tree sitting in a churchyard, does it have religious significance? Well, it does because um, the tree is older than the church. The first church here dates to the late 7th century AD when the saints first came from Ireland to Iona and from Iona down the Glen and they converted the people here to Christianity. And they tended to put their churches on sacred sites and this was, would already have been a sacred site because the yew tree was regarded as sacred right back to very ancient times. So that's why the church is next to the tree, we think. Fran, there's various stories attached to this tree and a name you often see written about Pontius Pilate. What's the truth? The story goes back to 1869 when uh, the minister here, Reverend Samuel Ferguson, uh, wrote a poem called The Queen's Visit uh, to commemorate the visit of Queen Victoria to Tamworth Castle and he refers to an old legend that Pontius Pilate was born here and that's the only literary record we have. So it may be that the Pontius Pilate story was a big lie, a briac vor, but you know what? It worked. The tree became hugely popular and thousands flocked here to see this magnificent curve. We also get a lot of groups who come to worship the tree and unfortunately we do get people occasionally climbing into the enclosure and trying to hold ceremonies until chased off by me. So how did it get here? Did Pontius Pilate really play under its boughs? How old is it? So many questions and the biggest question of all, what kind of compost would they have used all those years ago? It must have been tor, manure, tor. Yeah, that would have been it. And a pretty good job it did too.